Hi everybody, it's Keely again, and I am here to show you the last mop you will ever buy or earn for free by hosting a party or joining my team. So this little baby right here has been an absolute lifesaver in our house. Um, it was even before we got hardwood floors in our house, but now that we have completely hard floors throughout the house except the bedrooms, I could not live without this. So. This is a very simple system for your mop. Um, you'll have a, a wet or a dry pad, a wet pad, and then your mop. And then I use our rubber brush with it. I'll show you all those things as we go along. It's very simple and easy to use. Um, it's all a Velcro system. So things just come off really easily and apparently somebody didn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Somebody forgot to rubber brush this out before, but so I'm gonna just start here along the edges and I'm gonna just go in an S pattern along to get all of this gunk. You may not be able to see how much I have on my floor, but I have a lot. And just a tip about using the mop is that for ergonomic um, use, you want to have the handle um, right about at your chin level. So this is a little bit short for me. So all you do to unlock the mechanism in here to make it taller or shorter is you just twist counterclockwise and lift up or down and then you turn clockwise until it's locked tight. You don't want to over tighten it just till it feels perfect. Um, you want it taller when you're dry sweeping and you want it shorter when you're wet mopping um, so you can kind of easily get at the spots you might have on the floor and get more leverage behind your mop. Okay, so I'm just going to keep coming all the way across my floor and it easily gets underneath your furniture and <clears throat> all around. And I typically dry mop in my house several times a day um, just because we have a very dirty house and we live out on a farm. So there's lots of dirt and gunk all the time. Okay, so if you come over here and I'll show you everything that the mop picked up and it leaves nothing behind it. And I'll show you the mop pad itself. So it works by static charge so you can see all of the hairs on there, all of the extra stuff that's sitting on the mop. So what I use for that, now typically I would do this right over a garbage can so that it's, you know, just easier. But what I'll do just to show you guys how easy it is to sweep out the mop pad is I just take my rubber brush and I just sweep it along and it gets everything off of there so it's ready to use for the next time. So this is gonna replace your traditional um, bristle broom. And then um, I'll show you the wet mop pad here in just a second. So you can see the rubber brush. Now this has a lot of uses. Um, it's great for getting pet hair off furniture. It's great for removing, helping remove carpet stains or get things out of the carpet. It's really nice to use in your vehicles to sweep out your floor mats. Um, but it just kind of grabs everything up into it and this, you can even use it on your pets if you want to, to, um, brush them. So I'll just leave my, my pile there. Now I just dropped or wet mopped yesterday, but I'll show you how simple it is. So all I would do is remove the dry pad and hang it by this tag. Um, since I'm going to grab my wet pad now. The wet pad and the dry pad are made from 70% recycled materials, which is amazing. Um, Norwex is becoming more and more sustainable. So then all I would do is I would just stick this down on the floor. I would obviously wet it with water first, so let me show you how I do that. So all you do is get it saturated wet with water and then wring it out like this. Most of the way, you don't have to get it all the way wrung out because you do want a little water left in it. And then I would put it on the floor and then I would adjust my mop height just to a little bit shorter so that it's easier for me to push down on the mop when I need to. And then I would just go with the grain of my floor. 
So typically I would mop like this and then it's just going to be wet with water. I don't have to use any other chemical with it. I don't have to use anything else in my mop, just water. So it's very efficient, great to use with kids, great to use with pets, and it's so fast and easy to use. And this little ball on the top of the mop, you can actually use um, to get scuff marks off of your linoleum floors, especially. I don't get a lot of scuff marks on these floors, but I know a lot of um, people with linoleum do. Um, so this is a great way to do to get scuff marks off your wall, scuff marks off of your linoleum floor, etc. And this mop, because it uses so little water, is safe for all wood floors, even real hardwood. Um, you're not going to avoid your manufacturer's warranty by using this mop with it. So that is another great feature of this mop. I hope you enjoyed seeing my mess and mopping with me today. We'll talk to you soon.